What's up everybody, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. So what do we have here? Well, it's actually, as you see, it's kind of a bombshell documentary interview, feature documentary. What do we have here? This is Peace Morgan, he's interviewing Meghan Markle's half-brother. So I suppose same father, different mother. And I already watched most of the interview here so i suggest you go listen to it because first of all i wasn't aware that Meghan markle had a brother half brother but there is more to the story really uh, at the beginning i wasn't aware of all this backdrop that of course probably many of you already knew about this character and the more i st i'm digging into her in her past the more certain like let's say underlying you know like personality seems like to emerge to the surface i don't want to say anything but it's quite fascinating when uh, you hear your own family you know being just disheartened by you denying basically the existence of your father which uh, i just want to show you this part of the clip which i think it's the bombshell of the of the old interview here on Piers morgan and listen to this she met Harry, did exactly the same to me. Bang, you know, done. She did that to many people that she knew, that she'd either worked with or was friends with or whatever. It just seems to me she's what I would call a ruthless social climber, who just when people are no longer, yeah. you know, no longer appropriate parts of her circle, they have to be expunged quickly so she can move on up the ladder. Absolutely. And I think a lot of greed plays into that fact also. I mean, the amount of unprecedented files, photos, videos, and documentation that, that we're going to be including in our documentary, it's going to tell a whole different story. And I think the, the, I think the general public and the UK and America knows that now the Markles aren't bad people. We're, we're just like a normal family like everybody else. We do exist. And when, when one person tells lies and then tells 10 other lies to cover the one lie and it keeps on going, you know, this is what happens. You, you, you end up looking ridiculous. There's a staggering moment, Thomas, where... Wow. I have to say, first of all, this documentary that is going to come out, it's going to be another bombshell. But then I just want you for a second to realize that her own family, it's fed up and it's coming forward to address what they think is an unjust depiction of themselves can you imagine i mean again really those people are fighting back and i don't want to jump to conclusion but it's very hard not to see that something is off here in this relationship also with this woman when your family your own family feels the need of setting the record straight i mean wow it's going to be interesting nonetheless when this thing is going to come out to see another face right another side of the story so let's see but this is just the tip of the iceberg as you can see um many other magazine like the wall street journal area megan review or royal pd party on netflix I'll show you right here already the reviews that they're flocking in of area megan documentary and look at this this is <laughs> quite scary already 912 user ratings and it's like 15 percent i mean at this rate this is probably going to be the worst documentary that it's been reviewed but despite the very low rating on netflix the show it's number one in different countries including the uk here which is the highest uk rating a show of the year and also actually here in the netherlands where i live it's number one on on netflix look at that so despite the fact that the review are bad but people are curious of the nonsense so this is the infamous clip of the curtsy we don't dislike megan because she's black we dislike her because she's rude manipulative and insulting towards our culture and custom that's what this user is saying on twitter and harry there seems like visibly annoyed somehow completely over the top did you really do that you can see his face blushing a little bit so my my opinion on this is very simple i've said it yesterday in a live in my opinion the short of it is that those two people they have had a very long road 
before being in the black tuxedo and in the white dress on top of the staircase or stairway in front of the church being celebrated on a sunny day for everybody there to enjoy or whatnot there's been that there could have been a lot of things that they could have done before and most importantly if it's so hard and difficult to be part of the royals why didn't for instance harry give up his title before marrying her you know if he was so sure that this is the woman of his life and so on and so forth why they don't rescind his right to be a royal to begin with from the start go out there alone in the world marry who you want go to your grandma and say like you know what rest her soul rest in peace the queen go to her and you should have said grandma i don't want to be a prince anymore please rescind my title set me free i'm gonna be out with this woman she's gonna work she's gonna be an actress she's gonna pay for me don't worry all right i believe in powerful women no that's not what happened so so now they came forward already denying that they wanted to move to the u.s because of privacy megan and harry say we never said it was about privacy in a new statement amid backlash over Kappa's documentary uh, that includes 15 hours of home video. So I find this also fascinating because, in my opinion, if they just shut up, you know, and left, nobody would have cared anymore. But it seems like there's a compelling need to be back in the media. And as you can see, people are not taking it, even though the documentary is doing well in terms of view. But it's just the content of what they're trying to preach or share or what they're trying to convince the audience of, people are just not buying. And at the end of the day, I feel sorry for, for Harry because I really feel that he probably has done a misstep in severing his relationship with the family because that's really much what you have. I know that I might sound conservative, but in his case, more than, more than anybody else on the planet, you know, when you part of that type of of institution so to speak uh to severe your contact to severe your connection with your father and your brother and and your whatever uh doesn't seem like the right thing to do i'm pretty sure there should have been and this of course i'm just adding another opinion should have been i'm sure there was space for uh, finding uh, ways to cope with the royal families and I'm pretty sure there was space for this woman if she was really willing to step in the shoes of what she was supposed to do instead of trying to change the royal family from within because most likely she didn't like the role that she was assigned. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this. If I'm wrong, if I'm right, we will dive into it if you want. Please consider subscribing. Always spread love. Ciao.